Hello, everyone. We're just letting everyone into the uh, in from the way. Beautiful. And then we're going to get started here shortly. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. So, of course, a reminder, if you're late, I don't care. You come anyway. So we're going to get started. This is, of course, Pilates and core. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about it in a moment. So when you're ready, come and grab a seat. Let me pull my mat into the view. And we're going to start in a seated position. So whatever is most comfortable for you. So perhaps that's where your feet are straight. Maybe your knees are bent. Perhaps your feet are crossed. That is your choice. If you'd like, you can bring your thumb and your index finger together. Rest them out in front of you or whatever works for you. Remember, this is not a yoga class. And of course, I'm just going to tell you about what's going to happen right now. So let's first start to connect with our breath. So take a nice big deep breath in, in through your nose. And I want you to hold it there for a moment. And then when you're ready, I want you to breathe out, but create force behind it. So imagine you're either breathing out through a straw or you get to shh me to help engage those deep pelvic floor muscles. And then breathing out. Continue to do this. We just had a friend join us in the waiting room. And then at the same time, I can adjust my camera angle. So again, I'm so happy that you are here. Wonderful Thursday. Of course, I am Jessica. We are together for 45 minutes. If you're just joining us, we're focusing on breath right now. So what's gonna happen in your workout today? Again, moving with that breath. Well, this is our awakening. So we're starting to bring that balance, awakening that body for our workout. Then from there, we're gonna go through a warm up. And then once we're done our warming phase, we're gonna go into a standing integrated series. After the standing integrated series, we're gonna do face down, face up, face up. 45 minutes together and on a scale from one to 10, think an eight with your next breath. Place your right hand on the ground and then breathe out and gently gaze past that elbow. Someone else just joined us. Woo! So again, if you're just joining us, we're not starting to warm up. So wherever your feet need to be, and we're moving through the breath. So thinking, breathing out to move, breathing in to relax, breathing out with the work, and in. Let's finish this up one more time. Then we're going to start to open up that chest. When you're ready, bring those arms up in front of you. Sweep them open, gentle gaze up, nice long spine, and then roll off your sit bones. I'm going to go to the side so you can see me. Then when you're ready, breathing in, creating length, and then breathing out. Of course, I realize now I'm wearing black, and that does make it difficult to be able to see all my, my movements. So I will be mindful of that in the future. One more like this. And then finish it and let's start to transition to all fours, please. So transitioning to all fours, place your knees below your hips, press the top of your feet into your mat, take your hands, fan them out one at a time. And then slightly turn the elbows in and we're just gonna round that spine, gently gazing through the knees and then a gentle gaze forward. So we're moving away from that awakening into our warming phase now. Beautiful, trying to link that breath. So I hope you're all having an absolutely phenomenal day. I love it because it's Thursday. We're that close to the weekend. Nice job, one more all the way through and then we're gonna do a little focus on the arms and the legs. Level off to a nice neutral spine, reset the shoulders, take one leg up. Keep the toe pointing downward. So traditional Pilates, yes, we do a lot of pointing over and over and over again that will shorten up the calves over time when you're ready get the opposite arm up let's stay here for a moment and we just had someone come into the waiting room so i'm going to go say hello to them the reason i want you to stay there is this is called static motor control so we want to teach the muscles how to be able to stabilize before we start to ask them to move if you're just joining us we're on all fours opposite arm opposite leg holding in four three two Come on back down, lower everything down again, reset those arms, get that leg up, stay there for a moment. Then when you feel ready, stretch that arm out. Excellent job, everyone. I appreciate you being here today. We're gonna stay here for a couple more moments. Then we're gonna go into a knee hover and hold that for about 15 seconds. 
And then we're gonna step out into a plank, lower down onto our bellies. Lower down, curl the toes under, breathe out, take the knees off. So you can see right now, you could have lunch <laughs> on my back. So I am tabletop right now. Again, teaching static dynamic or static motor control. Then when you're ready, we're gonna step out into a full plank. And then lower down as slow as you can onto your belly. Once you're on your belly, press the top of your feet into your mat, firm up the front of your thighs, squeeze your bottom, press into the hands, rolling the shoulder blades down your back pocket, and then just a little gentle gaze. So same thing, think about squeezing between your shoulder blades. So you're really trying to activate your posterior chain, the back side of the body. Then we're gonna get ready for one perfect push-up, either from the knees or from the toes. If you're going from the toes, firm up your thighs so they come off your mat, squeeze your booty, press evenly through the whole hand, come on up, downward facing dog. Now this is not yoga, so this doesn't have to be a perfect down dog. What we're trying to do is create some space in the back of the hips and through the calf muscles. So we're gonna stay there a little bit longer, and then we're gonna get ready to move up to standing. In four, three, two, gentle gaze up, either step or jump to your hands. When you get here, spread those toes out, round yourself up, one vertebra at a time. And I think that's when you're gonna lose me, so I have to adjust the camera. When you stand up, move your legs to keep that blood flowing, please. And then I'm gonna move my mat out of the way so we can focus on the lower extremities. We're gonna do a little work on balance. So spread those toes out as much as you can. Move up onto the tippy toes and then back down. If you want, add the arms and back down. Let's do two more like this. And back down, last one, and then we're gonna come up and we're gonna hold it, finish it all the way through. And then when you're ready, come up and hold. I want you to put a little bit more weight on the leg you think is weakest. So are you able to transition and maybe take the other foot off while you're up on your tippy toe? Maybe you have to keep the other toe on the ground. Getting ready for the other side in four, three, two. All right, transition over. So right now the weight floor, I'm at the Glencoe, if you didn't realize. And the weight floor is clearing out so that we can do our cleaning. And all the members are walking by being like, what is she doing? She's in a studio by herself with a fancy light. <laughs> all right, folks, lower everything down, move those legs. Come find a stance for your squat. So everyone's squat's gonna be a little different. And then I want you to sit as deep as you comfortably can and then stand back up. Let's do that again and back up. Now, if you want, maybe you make this more dynamic up onto your tippy toes. So then we end up starting to warm up the shoulders. We're also warming up the hips. We're warming up the knees and we're warming up the ankles because we're going onto those toes. Think about linking the breath. So of course we are in that warm up. You should be definitely starting to feel like you're working. Then we're gonna practice our lunge here in a moment. Two more. Last one all the way through. And then when you're ready, sit down. Hold this for four, three, adjust your feet. Now step your right foot back. Come up nice and tall. Push your hip forward and then drop that knee directly down and back up. So we're just practicing our stationary lunges. Then if you want, you can start adding movement to this. So you can step back together and step back. So remember, it's all about permission. You have permission to make this work out about you. Excellent job, everyone. Two more like this. Last one. Good, hold it for four, three, two, and then switch it up when you're ready, please. Oh, Andrea, come say hi to everybody. Andrea Horn is here, folks. Come on in, dip it down, come, come. Say hi to everybody. Oh, you know, we're dipping we're it down. Dipping it down and back up. Woo. Now guys, if you didn't see this, Andrea and I have actually done some workout videos together and they are on your YouTube page for the Glencoe. How was your class? It was awesome. Good. Yeah, really good. Good. But everyone, you've got to come to the spin class. You do. We have in-person spin classes. Andrea is on 9.45 a.m. on Thursday mornings. 
All right, you ready? Yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna move. Jeff, I'm back. See, we got this, look at us. We're in sync. We are in sync. Nice job, everyone. Ooh. Working out? I look good. good. You do look good. good. Yeah. You always look good, though. Well, with that. Ah. I know, it helps with the light. Our pretty little light. Two more. And then we're gonna hold this. All right, you ready? Come down. Hold it. And then we're getting ready for balance. In four, three, two. You just did a workout. Ah, I'm going to run. Bye. You're such a beast. I love it. See ya. Bye, Andrea. Isn't that fun? I love when people crash our classes. <laughs> so when you're ready, put that foot on a bit of a diagonal. And then we're going to go as far as we can go. So how far can you go? So I'm introducing all the moves that we're going to be doing in our workout. And then when you're ready, add a leg. So these are all the moves we're going to do in our workout. And we're going to add three-dimensional training to this. Linking that breath. Breathing out and in. It's really muggy today, right? Really humid. I don't know, is muggy a maritimer thing? I'm not used to this. Two more. Last one. And then we're going to take it over to the other side. Then we're getting ready to transition into our lunges. So how far can you go? So our lunges today, we're going to be doing everything three times. So that means a total of six. So three on the left, three on the right. When you're ready, add that leg lift. I'm going to be adding three-dimensional training to this. Ooh, la la! And of course, that lunge series is going to keep evolving. Beautiful. Four more. Three. Are we ready to start working? You're like, I am working, Jessica. I know. Okay, move those legs. So, choose which leg you want to start with for your lunge, and then you can either go stationary or you can add movement. You decide. Time now has started. So, we're just focusing on the one leg. So, remember, you can be stationary lunge. Then, from there, after we do, so we're doing 30 seconds for the first set. Then I'm going to make you hold this, and we're going to be adding a chopping variation to this. Nice job. we got about five more seconds left here. In three, two, finish it all the way through. Now come down and hold this. Then when you're ready, you're going to reach to the opposite arm, come back up, reach. Reach to the opposite, I said opposite arm, I meant opposite foot. Reach, keep that going. Down, reach, find your tempo. Keep this going. Now we're coming back to the same leg. We're gonna be cutting that down though. Instead of 30 seconds, we're gonna go to 20 seconds. In four, three, two, go. So you're either in the stationary lunge, you find your tempo. So breathing out with the work, inward relaxation. So maybe you want to go slower. Maybe you want to go faster. 10 more seconds. Then we're going to hold that and do that again. Nice job. Really think about activating the glutes. All right, you ready? Come and hold it. Find your chopping variation. Try to keep that lower body nice and stable. You can go really fast. See how I lost my balance? Add that reach. Again, make this about you. We have about 10 more seconds left here. Then we go down to 15 seconds. In five, four, three, two. All right, last set, reverse lunge, go. Now we're not switching legs yet though. <laughs> You're like, why Jessica? Because we're gonna go into that side T-stand. In four, three, two, all right, come and hold this, 15 seconds, chop across. Linking that breath. You got eight more seconds. Remember which leg that you're on, because you want to remember to do it again later. But before that, you're coming up the balance, come on up. Put the foot, you're going to stand on at a diagonal. Little micro bend in the knee. How far can you go? Remember, we haven't done the other leg yet, and that's okay. So we're going parallel to the ground if you can. Then we're going to do a leg lift, leg pulls, and circles. No breaks unless you need to take it. Ready? Leg lift. Here we go. Breathe it out. Nice. 
So we're teaching the leg you're standing on how to stabilize while we are working those outer thigh muscles. Good, notice my arms helping maintain my balance. Then we're getting ready for leg pulls. Come up and hold, pull it forward, point the toe, press it back, back, breathe it in, in, breathe it out, out, four more, in, in, breathe it out, out, three left, oh my god, leg circles are coming up next, two more, out, out, pull it back, last time, out, out, pull it back, and circle, oh, my leg is screaming at me, getting ready for the other side with the circle, change up the direction, eight, seven, six, five, oh my god, this leg is going to the ground, all right, shake it out. Shake it out. How are we doing? Okay, lunges. You ready? 30 seconds. Other leg now. Go. Remember, we're doing three sets. We're doing a 20, sorry, 30, 20, 15. You can be in stationary lunges. So find what you need to be successful. You've got 15 more seconds left here. Then we add the chop and reach. Excellent. You got less than 10 seconds. Then we got 30 seconds to hold. Beautiful. Finish it. Come and hold. Reach for the opposite toe. Come up. Reach. So again, if you speed this up, lock it in the middle. Reach. Keep it going. So again, we're coming back. We're going to do that two more times. We're going to go back into that reverse lunge. 20 seconds with that chop reach variation. You have eight seconds left right here. This first set's the killer because it's the longest one. Woo! Three, two, one. Back into your lunge. 20 seconds now. Thinking about that breath. Nice. 10 more seconds. Thinking quality over quantity. So if you find yourself having to cheat, take a break. Five more counts. Getting ready for that chop. Okay, come on back. Chop and reach. Beautiful, keep that going. So reminder, of course, we've got one more set coming up. 15 seconds. Then we're gonna go into that side leg series. You're looking good. We're almost there. Woo! In five counts. In four. Three, two, last time. Go, reverse lunge, 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Your choice, do you speed this up? It's all about you. Five more counts. Four, three, two, one. Come back and hold it, chop it across. Nice job, everyone, keep it going. We've got eight seconds left, then we're gonna plant ourselves with a little bit of an external rotation. In three, two, one. Put that foot on slight external rotation. Set the shoulder, set the hips. How far can you go? So naturally our body wants to internally rotate. Put your hands on your hips if you find you're internally rotating. Then when you're ready, add that leg left. Again, you can be right here, right? It's all about you feeling successful. So we have that leg lift. Then we're gonna try the leg pull. And then we're gonna do those leg circles. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Great job, everyone. Getting ready for leg pulls in three, two, come on up, pull it forward, point it back. Link the breath, breathe it in, press it back, Back, pull it front, press it back, back, pull it front, press it back, back four left, front, pull it back, back three more, front, pull it back, back two more, front, pull it back, back last time. Oh my goodness, circle this out. Ooh, your choice how big this circle gets. Nice job, then we're going into a plie or sumo squat, whatever your choice. And then change up the direction, change up the direction. Your hips are screaming, begging for a break. 
three, two, one. Move those legs. Oh my goodness. All right, step nice and wide. With the plie, our goal is to stay nice and upright and that our ankles and our knees are tracking. So I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can kind of see that. So my knees are tracking and then I'm coming back up. Let's do that again. As deep as you can. Now if you want, add arm move. If you wanna make this a little bit more three-dimensional, reach, come back to center. Reach, come back to center. Beautiful. It also distracts you from the pain that is happening in your lower extremities when you're adding those arms. Beautiful. Four more like this. Then we're gonna hold. Three. Last two. Last one all the way through. And now come down and hold this. Now heels come up, up, and down. Breathe out and in. Nice job, breathe out and in. Woo! How are we feeling? Four more, then we're gonna hit the mat. Three, we're gonna start with kneeling. Two, and one. Sit down and hold this for eight, seven, six, five, four. Who loves slow counting? Ah! Relax. Move those legs, get that blood flowing. If you have knee issues and you cannot be on your knees, the next exercise will be done here. If you're ready, come on down onto your knees. Press the top of your feet into your mat. You're gonna activate your booty, activate your core, hinge forward so you feel your back muscles kick in. If you're not sure, take your hand, place it right around your spine and you should get feedback from the muscles. If you're not sure, stand back up, notice the muscles stop firing. So sit as far back as you can, a size of an orange under your chin, and you're just gonna reach those arms forward. And then if you want, do both. Maybe you add a little variation where you split. Maybe you do a breast stroke. Your choice. Keep it going. I'm a big fan of this exercise because what it does is it activates the muscles all the way along the spine called your erector spinae. Really important for our back health. And we also call it a fundamental lower back exercise because it also strengthens your quadratus lumborum, your lower back muscle. We're getting ready to go to all fours. In three, two, one. All right, all fours. Spread those fingertips out as much as you can. Elbows in slightly. Leg goes up. Opposite arm, opposite leg, stay there. Now, variation. You can add movement. You can sweep. The arm away from the midline, whatever your heart desires. So again, making this about you. And then we're gonna mentally get ready to do the other side. Then we're gonna give the arms a break by going onto our belly for back extensions. But before that, of course, we have to do the other side. Four more. In three. Last two. And one, come on down. Again, those knees are right below the hips. Get that back leg up as high as you can. Opposite arm, opposite leg. And then add movement when you're ready. Any variation that you need to feel successful. Nice. Beautiful job, everyone. Keep it going. So we've got about 15 more seconds here. Then we're on our belly for back extensions. Eight more seconds. In four, three, two, one, on your belly, please. Press the top of your feet into your mat. Your hands come by your side to give you a good shoulder roll. If you'd like, the legs can come off. Hands can come off. You can stay here. You can add movement if you'd like. You can come up and add arm movements or even leg movements, your choice. We're gonna end up doing all of this three times with different filler exercises. While you're holding this, I'm just gonna adjust my camera angle so you're not staring mostly at a big wall. 
and I'm going to grab a hair elastic because during COVID, my hair got really long and it's making me crazy. All right, we're almost there. Getting ready for push ups in four, three, two, one. All right, let's get ready for those push ups either from the knees or the toes. Your choice. Now, for those of you who've been doing my boot camp, you know I've got a bit of a reoccurring left shoulder injury. So if you have an injury, do a plank instead, but know that that's the next exercise coming up after our back extensions. Linking that breath. So quality over quantity. So I want to see you doing good push-ups instead of weakened, cheaty ones. Getting ready for back extension. Set number two in three, two, one. On your belly, please. What are you doing with your legs? Your choice. And then maybe we're trying to swim, lower down, come back up, sweep those arms. Maybe you go here and you tap the elbows to the ground, which is actually gonna get those obliques and the quadratus lumborum, that lower back muscle firing a little bit more. Woo! Planks are next. And then from our planks, you have the option to go from the knees, from the toes, you can take a leg off. You can even take an arm off. If you've never done that before, try a different variation. In three, two, one perfect push up into that plank. Now, if you want to, take an arm off, get your feet a little further back, put one hand in the middle, and here we are. Knowing that you have options. So you can be on your knees, you can be on your elbows. If you've decided to take a leg off, or you decided to take an arm off, what I'd like you to do right now, switch it up now, please. Now I might have strong on this side. Ooh, feet of strength. <laughs> Find the option. Getting ready for your last and final set of back extensions. In four, three, two. All right, come on down. Where do you need to be to feel successful? Now why? Why do I spend so much time focusing on your posterior chain? If you've been with me since March, the reason being is our posterior chain is what keeps us upright. That is so important so that we resist rounding the shoulders when we sit at our desk, when we drive. Woo! Nice job. Then we're gonna come back for one more set of planks, knowing all your options. Now with those planks though, we're gonna do some log rolling planks where we're gonna go face down plank, face side, face side. In three, two, all right, come on up. Face down, you can be on your elbows or your knees. We're gonna stay there for another eight seconds and then you're gonna step into a side plank. You can always drop down to the knees if you need to or drop down to the elbow. In three, two, one, side plank. Activate that foot. So I chose to go modified. Getting ready for the other side. In four, three, two, one. So switch it. And then we're gonna do all that one more time. We got a friend that just joined us. Let me let them in. So if something ever happens, I want you to come to class anyway. So if you're just joining us, we're in. Getting ready to move back down into that full plank. I'm going back straight back to, to straight arm. This is our last set through. Remember, you can be modified from the knees. You can also be on the elbows. Woo! In four, three, two, back into that side plank. Leg off if you want, leg lift. Maybe hit a, hit a drop. Maybe you want to add a twist. Make this about you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, all the way through. Beautiful. So remember, you could do a drop, you could add a twist, whatever your heart desires, folks. Palm holding a bowl of soup if you're on your elbow. Woo! And then from there, we're going to go back over to the other side and we're going to do side v-sits in three, 
Two, I'm gonna flip so you don't have my back end to you. You can go all the way through wherever you need to be. Bottom arm comes out in front of you. Hips are stacked, but you're gonna roll off the hip bone. Hand goes overhead and let's close this. And back down. Now if you're going for the love of God, Jessica, I can't do that. Here's your option. So you put, put the knee and then just a little V here. So you're on the side of your hip, so on the gluteus medius. So you shouldn't feel any contact with that hip bone. So remember that's option number two. Option number one, both legs are straight. And if you want to add a challenge, restack the hips for ob oblique control. Nice, keep it going. Four more. In three. Last one. And then we're going to take it over to the other side. Here we go. Take it over to the other side. When you're ready, of course, get started. You don't have to wait for me. Add a challenge, restack the hips. If you need to, bottom knee bent, you're still externally rotated. Nice. You're looking good. We're gonna be doing that one more time on each side here momentarily. Last four, three, two, last one. All right, take it all the way over to the other side. You either just flip it when you're there, get started. I'm using the time. So we're doing 30 seconds. So like I said, you can do straight arm, straight leg, or you can modify like I'm modifying. Beautiful. If you need to take a break, take a break. Your neck is probably giving you some feedback right now. Getting ready to do the other side. This will be the last time in three, two. All right, take it over to the other side. This is it. This is it. Arm up. Good. So then we can say we had a good workout for those obliques. Then we're going to go on our back. We're gonna do some bridge work and some abdominal work. Right now, we've got about seven minutes left to our workout before we start stretching. Getting ready for that recovery? Not much, but it's coming. And there you go, on your back, please. So your palms are gonna be facing up by your side. That flattens your shoulder blades onto your mat. Nice even distribution through the whole foot. Pick up those hips as high as you can. Now we're gonna be doing a leg series for the hips, three different sets. So we're gonna keep the first set clean, and then we're gonna make it a little harder as each set progresses. We're gonna be doing 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of a hold, and then we'll do an abdominal set to give active recovery to those muscles in the back of the hips. You have just about 10 seconds left here. Nice even distribution, again, through the whole foot, not just the heel, because then if you're not pressing through the whole foot, you're not getting proper glute recruitment. Come on up and hold, 15 seconds. And if you want, go up onto the toes. Then we're gonna go in a single leg stretch for 30 seconds, and we're gonna come back to the hips with a more advanced exercise. In four, three, two, down, knees go tabletop, Adjust your lower back, come up into a crunch, time has started. You wanna be neurotic? So the hands go to the inside knee, outside ankle. Nice job. Woo! You're looking good. Less than 10 seconds left. Then we're gonna focus on one leg for our bridges. Now remember, you can always make it a little bit easier. Keep both feet on the ground. Come on back up. Now what I'd like us to do, get up. Take the foot off into a lunge position. And now lift and lower. Now if you go to Jessica, 
I'm not quite strong enough. You can always rest that foot across on the knee or keep your toe on the ground, but you're still focusing on one leg. You've got about 10 more seconds left here. Really thinking about picking up that thousand dollars in your cheeks and it's not the ones on your face. In five counts, now remember which leg you did because we're coming back. We're doing double leg stretch, ready? All right, drop it down, legs up into the crunch, double leg stretch. Nice job. Then we're gonna come back and do this one more time, right? Looking good. Five more counts. Four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Get the hip up, stabilize. Lunge position if you'd like, lift and lower. If you need to, rest the foot across the knee and lift and lower or toe on the ground and focus on that one leg. You're doing great. We've got about 15 more seconds left here. Then we're gonna do a Pilates 100. So that means we're gonna do 10 sets of 10. Where you're imagining you're dribbling a basketball on the side of your body, two basketballs. In four, three, two, all right, drop it down, come up the tabletop. You can either stay here, you can extend the legs, you can even drop them a little forward, you can do some crisscrosses, whatever you want, come up into that crunch, ready, and go. Out, 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 breathe in, 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 and 10, take it up, out, 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 in, 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 and 20, out, in, and 30, out, in, and 40, out, in, and 50, out, in, breathe it out, 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 breathe in, in, and six, 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 Woo! 70, 70, in, 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 and 80, out, in, 90, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, quick second break, then we're going to do clam diggers, so a little variation, so we can hit on the outside of the hips, when you're ready, plant both feet there, pick up the hips, this is a bonus, because I have two more minutes left with you. You're gonna open up, rotate onto the outside of the foot, shut everything down, come back up. So we get our adductors, inner thigh muscles, while we're also working our outer thigh muscles and also our, our uh, back of the thighs. So this is a bonus exercise, so we have a little bit of extra time. Then we're gonna go into earthquakes, and that will be our day. Woo! Nice job, everyone. Five more counts. In four. In three. Last two. Last one, bring your knees into your chest. Roll yourself up to seated. Right up onto those sit bones, nice and tall. Open up the chest. Place your hands on your ribs to pull your elbows back, slightly squeeze those shoulder blades. Roll off the sit bones. So my spine didn't round. And notice my hands are not here. I can hold this. And you guys are so strong, you can hold this for a really long time. Instead, I want the chest open. Oh, feel those abdominals kick in. We're doing that twice. 15 seconds of work, five seconds recovery. In five, four, three, two, take a break. Five, four, three, two, one, set, go. Then we get the stretch. Best part of the class is coming. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come on back. Now my computer just told me that it's really low on power. I'm gonna go plug it in, but in case something happens that I don't get to plug it in on time, I love you. <laughs> just remember to finish stretching. Bring both legs over to one side, open into the letter T, Take a gentle gaze over to the opposite arm. And like I said, I'm going to plug my computer in because it says it's low. Now, lots of time I've never had, it'll go on for another five to 10 minutes. 
But today would be the day that it would say, no, I'm shutting down. Of course, I have to move everything because I'm too far. <laughs> All right, you're like, where are you, Jess? Are you coming back? I am. Okay, there. You're not going to lose me now. When you're ready, take it all the way over to the other side, please. But stop in the middle and make sure your hips are ready for this. And then when you're ready, lower everything down. Open into that letter T. Take a gentle gaze over to the opposite arm. Now, while you're here, a couple of reminders, of course. Monday is a holiday, so please check your schedule. Um, if there are classes, I can't remember right off the top of my head. I know personally, I'm not doing my boot camp, um, but uh, it should all be on the Glencoe website. And Simone's not here for me to just confirm, but just make sure you're set up for success. And of course, we will all be back to normal on Tuesday. When you're ready, let's move to all fours, please. Couple of cats and cows. with a gentle gaze forward. Ooh. Then we're getting ready to stretch out those hip flexors. All right, come on up. Take one leg forward, leaning as far forward as you can, and then drop it down. Making sure I'm still in that scene for you. Now, of course, a reminder, Ooh, August is starting on Monday. Well, I know August starts on Saturday, but our new drop-in schedules, everything, our Zoom classes, everything starts on August 4th. Uh, Zoom classes, of course, we are gonna be starting to pay for those. If you have questions why, even though you're going, yeah, but you can teach a Zoom class at home, or you can just teach a, a Zoom class in the studio, it's still my time, of course, and my time is valuable. Uh, we all went to school and worked really hard to make sure that we're doing this, and we're still, even though we're doing it uh, in a different way that we've ever de delivered it, we also have to be mindful that our time is valuable. So our Zoom classes begin uh, getting charged on August 4th. So you will have to re-register for that. When you're ready, you can sit up nice and tall. Now, of course, if you do have any concerns, you can always reach out to Simone. Um, if you're more comfortable reaching out to me, you're also more than welcome to do that. And then when you're ready, let's switch those legs. Let's switch that up. Of course, we have in-person classes. We also have some outdoor classes. And of course, these Zoom classes. If you haven't done so already and you know somebody who needs a gentle movement workout, I teach a gentle movement workout with a chair and that is on Wednesdays. It's moving from 11.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Then when you feel ready, come on up. Find that stretch right in the front of the hips. And then from there, we're going to stretch out the quadriceps, the front of the thighs. So when you feel ready, come on up to standing, please. When you get to standing, I'm just going to adjust the camera. There we go. You're going to grab that foot. Try to keep everything in alignment. And then squeeze your booty and pull the hip back. You're going to get a chest stretch while you're also getting through the front of the hips and right above that knee. If again, if you have any balance issues, find your focal point. Maybe you touch your nose, pull your ear. You can even touch your belly button, and that will help with the balance of it. Come and plant that foot over to the other side. So try to keep everything in alignment, and then squeeze your booty and pull back. Now, once in a while, I see somebody who does this. The quadriceps run straight up and straight down. And so you're actually creating quite a bit of a shearing force in the kneecap, quadriceps run up and down. And then open up that chest. We're gonna do a chest opener. So when you're ready, release everything. Give me some shoulder rolls. Opening and squeezing. And then you're ready, two big deep breaths in right here. And release. One more time, I'm coming in to say hello. All right, release everything. I'm so happy you made it here today. Hi, Heather. Hi, Shelly, Deborah, and Jelly. Chris, Denise, Kathy. I love it. I'm so thankful that you made time to be here today. I hope you have a fabulous Thursday. I hope you enjoy your weekend. It's supposed to be beautiful. 
And then of course, I won't see you Monday, but I am back on Tuesday teaching in-person cycling classes. And I'm here if you have any questions. Thank you again for being here. Mwah.